think I'm crazy, but I know I'm not. I won't be sticking daily basics. I'm done. So, how are you doing? I'm good. Yeah, just so, just been doing well. So you're in also, quarantine, I, I, right? Yes, yes. Um, at the Pullman Hotel in Oakland City. Um, it's not so bad. So I've never spoken to someone who's actually been in quarantine. So what is it like? Give me a, give me a little rundown. Um, you know, the first day was um, interesting. You know, it, um, you actually stay in your room for most of the time. There's a little uh, space where people walk around, follow each other. You know, it's, it looks funny. So <laughs> sometimes I go out for a little walk uh, around, you know, but, but, I'd much rather stay in the hotel and I've got a piano here. So I just practice 10 hours a day and, and do all my emails and read some books. So, you know, I actually try to use that time. It, best it I can. sounds like it could be worse. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was the first day I was like, Whoa, two weeks. Um, you know, I was a little bit worried, but I just planned everything and, and I'm good. Right. Right. Very cool. So when are you out? Uh, on the 15th. Oh, okay. So I actually, I actually had my COVID test and it was negative. So they, they're going to do it again. Yeah, they're going to do it again um, by the end of the managed isolation, the, the end of the two weeks period. And, and if I'm good, then I can go out on the 15th. Very cool. So you, Fingers came, crossed. You, you traveled from Poland. So if we were going to Poland, would you have to go through the same business? I'm not, not sure because they're changing the rules uh, right. um, all the time. Um, last time I spoke to my girlfriend, she said, uh, there's no quarantine, but you know, um, they said that the third wave might be coming. Right. So uh, you never know. Um, I'm not planning to go back. Um, actually, uh, we apply with my girlfriend for, for visa here. So possibly she, she'll be able to come here next, next, early next year. Yeah. <laughs> Fingers crossed. So, so I how know. was it over there? Um, I was actually lucky because when we spoke last time, I, um, New Zealand was still uh, shut down. There was not much happening here. I did two right. gigs, but it was not much happening. So I went over to Europe and I was playing a lot. Oh, good. So I had quite a few gigs. I've recorded um, two live concerts, <laughs> and which one was really cool um, in a big, big Philharmonic um, place. Um, so it's going to be released sometime end of this year or early next year. So yeah, I was busy playing music and, and I finished my new EP. Uh, obviously, I went to see my girlfriend, so we had good times and and yep. me and my family and friends had yeah, really good time. But just lucky that I could move here again uh, yeah. when it got really bad over there, and I'm here for summer, so super lucky that I can travel <laughs> in between. Uh, you got to be one of the few musicians is actually traveling around and working. Um, yeah, probably. Yeah, <laughs> everybody's like, "Well, man, you're crazy," but I have the opportunity to to travel back to New Zealand. I've got two passports. Right. So it's a little bit easier than, than you know, if you're a foreigner, foreigner trying to get to another country now. Yeah, so yeah. I just try to, yeah. Nice one. So, um, and you have a single coming out uh, in a couple of days. It's called New Things. Getting away from here again. Run as fast as I can. Rushing to God's next cruise. Nobody knows. This wet away keeps me amazed. On the way must be real. So, is it when, when was this recorded? Um, I started working on it maybe a year and a half ago, something like that. And um, I started it last time I was in Poland, uh, amazing Polish vocalist Janika. Yeah. And um, I finished it when I was in Poland just now um, with help of Mike Patok, who's an amazing producer um, from the UK. So, remotely we were finishing it, and, um, and Nathan Haynes was helping with other tracks. Because I've got the whole EP coming and right um, early next year, and New Zealand uh, record label Big Pop Studios is gonna release it. That's why I thought it would be good to be here and do a bit of a promo and and you know, yeah, and um, yeah, because who knows so, what it's gonna be like in Poland in, in six months from now, or even well, three months yeah. from now. 
and nobody knows that. <laughs> He's probably got a better shot at being able to move around and play out here, I would guess, since it's, it seems like it's settled down finally. So, yeah. So you, you, you mentioned uh, the vocalist on your track, Yannicka. Tell me about her. Um, well, she's a new upcoming artist. Uh, I've met her at the party somewhere, and we just, <laughs> you know, clicked on. We start listening to the same tracks, and and um, you know, I think we soon after we met, we went to into the studio and recorded two tracks. Right. So she's actually doing another track on the EP uh, um, with another, de- uh, sorry, a rapper from from Dallas. So um, yeah, she's she's amazing uh, but she's new so uh, there's not much about her on on the internet but um i'm sure it will be because she's really <laughs> really cool excellent so tell me about when you actually recorded it with her and how you guys kind of put it together yeah yeah um so so the idea was to i just wanted to do something else because as, as you know i'm doing a lot of jazz and yeah. i've really two jazz albums and i wanted to to make music that people can dance to you know like something that dj can can play in a club you know rather than than playing jazz for for people when you know you, you listen to jazz when you sit down so so it's a different vibe i just wanted to do more production and more right. beats uh, more groovy stuff and um i started to 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 work on it um, like two years ago and then i met up with my friend adam kabachinski who's a producer and we start working on some tunes. Then, yeah, then I start inviting friends um, and, and people I liked um, to, to join us, like different vocalists, um, a rapper from, um, from Dallas, yeah, amazing vocalist um, from UK, Vanessa Freeman, that right. you might heard of. She, she did some work with Nathan Haynes as well. And um, there's amazing harmonica player, Katzbert Smolinski from upcoming artists in Poland. So, you know, just, just a bunch of friends and, and people I admired before. Right, and they they all they were all keen to 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 jump on board. You know, everybody's stuck at home, so if they yeah. got a studio. There's nothing what are you better do? to do. Yeah, <laughs> I got a piano behind me, but unfortunately, I can't play it. <laughs> oh man, why well, is it not in tune? Oh, it's tuned. We had the NZ Trio over here a couple of weeks ago, and they got it all tuned up. It sounds beautiful, but I oh cool. I've got fat, stupid fingers. <laughs> and I'll play and I'll come and play. For you, you have to come and play it. Definitely, it's raring to go. So yeah, when you you so you're we, we, I've heard the the EP it's gonna call it's gonna be called reconciliation is that right? Yes. Yeah. And it's coming out in February, so I imagine we'll talk more about that when the time comes. So I don't want to give everything away, but uh, <laughs> is it is it completely finished or are you still doing like artwork or bits and pieces? No, no, no it's all it's all done. It's all ready to go. We just uh, planned everything with with the label here with my friend Yost from the big pop studio. So, you know, right. first single, then second single in the new year, because December is not really the best time and beginning yeah. of next year to, to do stuff like that. And then, and then we'll follow up with the whole EP. Um, and yeah, you know, the, the promotion side of this is very important. Music is one thing. So it's, it's been sitting and waiting and I can't wait to show it, but I have to wait. <laughs> you have to wait. And you mentioned something about a, a show that you recorded while you were in Poland. Is that going to be released at some point? Yes, it will be released. It's um, it's uh, Jasper Paul School. It's like a really nice um, group of people that um, doing a lot of music, jazz music in China. Right. So the idea was to to record a Polish bands that w- were unable to go to travel to China this year because of the COVID, right. and they're gonna stream it live in China and all around the world. So it's 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 recorded in VR um, camera thing uh, that you can put, you know. The, the, what do you call it? Virtual reality thing? The virtual, exactly. And then you can, you know, <laughs> check all the, the guys playing and making mistakes. So, but I wrote heaps of new jazz stuff as well, for, just for that. And so I can't wait to, to, to hear it. And I mean, I've heard it already, but, you know, to, to see how it works and if people like it. Right, right. Sounds cool. So when you came back and you were in quarantine, did you have to, were you able to request at least a piano? Here? Yeah. Oh, I had my friend uh, Nick Williams from um, from Auckland here who dropped it off. Oh, so, really? Yeah, straight away, I said, "Man, I, I need I need to practice for my gigs. I've got a gig like the next day when I get out." Right. Um. So, so I need to practice, and they said, "Cool." So I'm just doing that. I can't imagine just sitting here and watching movies or something. That would be crazy to me. <laughs> and I, I I was wondering if you had like a little electronic keyboard or something that you use, but I imagine you need the full 
full blown. Yeah, nodes, I, right? I, can show, I can show you. I've got. Okay. Um, oh, that's all right. Node. Very good. So, so it's all so it's all good. I actually plug it into to the piano, and I've got Logic, so I can make music. I've got different sounds, and right, it's it's, it's right. pretty cool. Uh -huh. So, what when's this? What's whereabouts is this gig happening when you get out? Um, I'm playing at Sweatshop. I'm doing uh, a gig with my friend. Ross Nansen. Um it's it's like covers band, but it's really cool. Big arrangements. Um, right. So that's on the nineteenth. On the eighteenth, I'm playing at Pineapple Bar, just a solo piano. Uh, so so yeah, just getting back into it. I don't usually do like covers and stuff, but but just want to get back and see all my friends and play and hang out. Fair so enough. Just, fair enough. What kind of covers are you gonna do? Uh, mainly it's like old school stuff, Michael Jackson and Stevie Wonder and some Edwin Fire, you know, and we're doing mashups, medleys. Yep. So, so just, just funky, funky stuff. It sounds like fun, man. All right. Well, <laughs> you'll have to send me some information about that and we'll put it up on the website and let people know about it. Cool. But, cool. But uh, it sounds like you're, you're surviving well in quarantine. <laughs> yeah. You know, um, you know, you just have to plan plan a day and 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 you know i know i have to do it so i'm not gonna cry about it and, and just <laughs> right uh, i have to i have to cope and the food is great pullman hotel has got the best food so nice one I'm nice one for my dinner at six o'clock i had menu i could pick up all the food for for the next two weeks you know nice so, yeah, so I, I would say the only thing that would drive you crazy is if the weather is beautiful outside you want to go out and I know, wander around I know. I know but you know the summer is ahead of us so I that's true I some fun when i get up <laughs> all righty well thanks for checking in with me i appreciate it i can see you have some time <laughs> yeah. that's, that's fantastic and we'll see yeah. you like on the 18th or 19th or whenever it is yes we'd we'll love to meet you in person <laughs> it would be great i feel like we know each other we go way back <laughs> <laughs> all right see you later thank have you thank you see you bye-bye